A multi-stage centrifugal pump is basically several single-stage pumps joined together. Each stage of a multi-stage pump has the same basic parts found in a single-stage unit. There's a pump casing which contains the fluid and directs it from one stage to another toward the discharge pipe. A volute, which is the part of the casing near the discharge area of each stage where the casing widens. There's an impeller in each stage, which circulates the fluid being pumped in a circular motion. A suction eye at the center of each impeller, which is where fluid is drawn in. And impeller shrouds, which are basically the metal coverings over the veins of each impeller. Some pumps, like this one, have shaft sleeves, which separate each impeller mounted on the shaft. There are also shaft bearings and packing, which seals the area where the shaft exits the casing. Multi-stage pumps also have wearing rings located between the casing and each impeller. While their name implies that they wear during pump operation, their real purpose is to prevent leakage between the impeller and the casing of each stage. However, pumps are designed so that if contact between rotating and stationary components does take place, it will likely occur at the wearing rings, which are less expensive to replace than other components. The exact design and arrangement of a pump's components can vary depending on the application. For example, different styles of impellers and different shaped casings are often found. In some cases, mechanical seals are used instead of packing. Many pumps have additional safety and lubrication equipment attached. For example, many pumps have relief valves and recirculation lines. Sometimes, oil lubricated bearings are supplied by a forced feed oil system, which uses a small pump to deliver oil to the bearings. There may also be oil coolers to prevent the lubricant from becoming overheated by the bearings. If the packing or mechanical seal uses an external lubricating fluid, additional supply lines could be present. And pumps that handle high temperature liquids could require some type of cooling provision to protect the mechanical seal or packing. In some cases, an external fluid is pumped through piping to a pocket that surrounds the stuffing box to cool the mechanical seal or packing. 